Hi, my name's Leo, and this is the Gaff Cutter Tally Ho. Most of you will already know the rest of the story. This video is going to be about all sorts of really exciting work that's been going on inside the boat, below deck. Uh, some projects which are completed, some projects which are still underway uh, in the engine room, the galley, the saloon, the aft cabin. But we're going to start out by going on deck and looking down into the lazarette. So this is the lazarette hatch and underneath inside the hatch is the lazarette. The lazarette is basically a storage area below deck. I'm going to take the hatch off. And I'm going to get in. So I'm walking down some nice steps, which are new. Little teak steps that Zeal put in uh, just to make it easier to get in and out of the lazarette. And he's also made a sole in here, a floor if you like to stand on, and that consists of uh, ash boards. Some of them are removable to access the bilge and some of them are permanently fastened. They look really nice. The heater exhaust is now um, insulated to prevent it from um, you know, burning your skin if you touch it or uh, you know, heating up the wood around it too much or anything else that we put in the lazarette. So that's looking great. Uh, also in here we've got our shore power uh, inlets or the sockets uh, where we can plug our shore power cable. Right now the boat's actually all running off of its batteries and its inverters which is awesome including um, AC sockets where we've got lights and things plugged in um, and I just unplugged the cable just so I could show this area more easily um, but when I plug that back in in a moment the boat will be charging its batteries again and the cable will be able to stay in place with the hatch over the top uh, there's going to be some little stands to kind of slant the hatch up so we can keep that cable plugged in when the boat's you know, in a marina or somewhere with access to power. So that's the lazarette. Uh, now let's uh, keep on moving forward and go down the main companionway. This is the uh, correct way to walk up and down a companionway ladder although I must admit I often face forwards because it's quicker but uh, these are designed to face aft, face towards the ladder um, use it more like a ladder than a staircase and it's got handholds on it for that reason. So at the bottom of the companionway ladder or steps um, on the port side of the boat on my right here because that's forward <laughs> is the entrance to the aft cabin we'll look in there uh, in a little bit, but first we're going to go this way, starboard, so my left, to left, yeah, that's left, and uh, we're going to have a look inside the engine room. Hi, Leo. Hi. How's it going? Going good. What are you up to in here? Uh, I'm just building a locker in the engine room. Uh, this is a tool cabinet for the engine room. Uh, this cabinet is both plywood and uh, drawers that are made of metal. Uh, we opted to go with metal drawers to save some space. Initially, we were considering using a whole metal toolbox to put that on a shelf, but there just wasn't enough space uh, in the engine room compartment given the bulkhead going into the pilot berth and the fuel tank itself. In addition to that, in inboard dimension, we wanted enough space to be able to allow us to get the soft patch off of the forward face of the fuel tank. So uh, this was a great solution, and the drawers themselves, minus the the toolbox the drawers came in, fit perfectly in this space, and we're able to build a cabinet around it. So we just installed the metal drawers. We'll be able to uh, put a lot of small miscellaneous tools in here, and it's way more compact than uh, building a set of wooden drawers. So that cabinet in the engine room is looking really nice. Uh, really pleased we managed to squeeze those drawers in there because I think they're going to be really efficient and Zeal's been doing a great job on it. 
Uh, now we're going to go over to the other side of the boat into the aft cabin where Nick has been installing a lovely uh, little cabinet with a mirror on it just above the basin in that aft cabin. So let's go in here. I think they're just about done with it. Yeah, just about. That is looking gorgeous. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, we, it was a real squeeze. I remember designing this with you and it was a real tight fit getting it in there, getting it all work, working. Um, we've also got a light in here now that actually turns on. Do you want to hit it? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Somebody close that, damn it. <laughs> I think we just need a, a little knob on there and then we'll be finished, right? Yeah. Yeah, More I think the hardest part about this was the design, really. Yeah. We had, we were thinking about doing a cabinet underneath this and all sorts of different things and then I like the way it turned out. Yeah, I think we squeezed every ounce of space out of this we yeah. could. <laughs> and with the tiniest base yeah. <laughs> ever known. That. that took like forever to find as well, didn't it? That was one of the hardest things, yeah. finding the smallest <laughs> basin in the world. Yeah. Cool. Well, good work, Nick. It's looking really nice in here. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm pretty happy about it. Erica, what are we doing today? We're cleaning the boats. We are taking tape off of all of the bright work and everything because tape left on too long will stick to the varnish and damage it. Okay, well in a moment we're going to be moving forward in the boat into the saloon area where we're going to be looking at a liquor cabinet that Patrick has been building. Uh, but first of all we have to go back in time a little bit to when we received an exciting package in the mail. Okay, so in this box is a beautiful piece of stained glass that was made for us by a woman called Alice who's a skilled stained glass artist and um, uh, she got in touch, wanted to make something for Tally Ho and uh, we came up with a sort of Pacific Northwest style scene and uh, she's done a beautiful job and here it is. So I'm really pleased with how it came out. Thank you Alice, uh, really kind uh, gift for the boat and uh, we were trying to figure out where to put it and uh, in the end we sort of designed this uh, liquor cabinet around this piece a little bit as a sort of a way to display this uh, so it'll be lit from behind um, inside the cabinet so Paddy's going to put it in and I'm really excited to see it in the boat What's that wire for, Erica? This reading light. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 
Pretty cool. Pretty cool to have lights on in the boat, huh? It is really. All right, that's all. It I'm is gonna really do. pretty. We're uh, putting in the putting in the face frame and the door for the liquor locker. We were waiting for this awesome dimmer light to go in, and Erica did a great job wiring it. What's the official name for that light? The liquor locker light. <laughs> Well, the stained glass looks gorgeous in place. It looks so nice backlit, and uh, I'm gonna show more of it later and uh, talk a little bit more about that panel and the locker. Uh, but first of all, uh, we're gonna see Nick doing the final installation of the chart table area. Um, and then our friend Maya uh, is gonna be delivering some upholstery that she's made for the chart table area and the saloon. Hello, my name is Maya Vega Garcia. I'm the owner of Golden Hour Leather and Canvas here in Port Townsend, Washington. Um, I just dropped off the new chart table CT for Tally Ho. And um, yeah, I was able to do all the interior and upholstery for Tally Ho and for Leo and his crew. And I'm really happy how everything turned out. Um, Leo and I designed this a couple weeks ago and I made everything um, the last couple days and it's a diamond tufted leather backrest um, and a CT cushion and a little armrest and it goes really well with the cherry and all the other little fine touches that um, the crew worked on the last couple weeks. Yeah, and I think it turned out really well. Thank you. Thank you, Maya. It's uh, it's so beautiful. Thanks, Leo. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Thank you, Leo. Yeah. So uh, everyone's been cleaning the boat all day, which is awesome, while I've been editing. Uh, and uh, we're ready to put the rest of the uh, cushions, the settee cushions, in the saloon. Um, the liquor locker is... Uh, Looking gorgeous and ready to turn the light on inside and see the stained glass backlit. In fact, the whole boat is looking amazing actually. It's just so nice to be able to see everyone's incredible work in here with all the covers off and everything cleaned up. Um, so yeah, but right now I'm going to put these um, cushions in, um, which again were made by Maya, Golden Hour Leather um, and Canvas Work, and she's done a fantastic job on these uh, leather tufted cushions and um, let's see where does this one go this one must go right here so obviously this area is not completely complete uh, 
we are still working on some of the trim around the top and the bottom. They're actually going to hold the cushions in place. Um, but it's pretty close. We're also working on, well, George is working on the saloon table, which is going to go here and have two legs go through the sole. And it's going to be uh, lowerable and raiseable. Those are words. Perfect. <laughs> Dude, holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Liquor locker light. The liquor locker light. We want the liquor locker light. Yes. All right. Paddy's not actually here today, unfortunately. Um, he's off yeah. sick. So uh, yeah. I guess I get the honor of turning on the liquor locker light uh, this time. Well, everyone else has gone home and I've just been sitting here in the boat on my own, just in disbelief really of, of how nice it's looking in here. It was so nice to take all the covers off, all the protection, do a deep clean uh, of the whole boat um, and, uh, and get to see everyone's beautiful work, which some of which was done months ago and we haven't seen for a long time. Now there is a lot of work left to do and we are gonna have to cover everything up again. Um, we were just overdue a really deep clean and it's uh, been a really nice chance to see uh, the progress we've made. Now although there is a lot of work left to do uh, on the rig, um, hardware, on deck, systems, finishing work, woodwork, there's lots to do but we are starting to see little areas looking more and more finished and that's really special and exciting uh, and this area with the uh, amazing stained glass and the uh, beautiful upholstery uh, is just so special uh, and it feels uh, unreal to see it like this. I mean, I never in my wildest dreams imagined that this project could turn out like this. So I'm just sort of sitting here in awe uh, and I need to thank uh, you guys, everyone who's been watching these videos, watching this project, supporting this project, because this whole project is only possible because of you guys and your generosity. And uh, as you know, it's almost entirely funded uh, by donations and gifts from people who enjoy these videos, as well as a little bit of ad revenue, of course. So thank you so much. Now I want to talk just a little bit about this beautiful panel. Uh, you can see uh, this is a Pacific Northwest scene, typical of the area where I am right now. Uh, we've got some salmon, uh, we've got some orca whales frolicking in the waves, and the kind of typical bluffs and trees and birds that you you see around here. So again, I'm so pleased with that. Thank you, Alice. Uh, the upholstery as well is just incredible. Maya did such a good job. Now there is some other new stuff in the boat which you guys haven't seen yet. We're saving some of that um, to show you when those projects are complete, uh, but really exciting stuff. And then of course, very soon we're gonna be stepping to top mast, which is uh, again, <laughs> very exciting. It's gonna be adding about 20 feet to the height of the rig. Uh, and we'll be doing that all using uh, halyards and lines, no cranes involved. Uh, there's also some exciting casting going on, there's sail making, there's the capstan project coming along. Uh, so we'll be catching up with all that soon. But for now, thanks again for watching. Thanks so much for supporting this project. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.